Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and there's also a website up in the air now and if you click on that little right circle with the eye in it then it will take you to the website. Have a scout around, there will be information uh, on different readings, there will be reviews, there will be um, updates and uh, it, the website will be updated as uh, regularly and uh, there will be information uh, also you will see that there is a, a, a heading life coach that is, I hope that that will come into life uh, later this year but first I want to get this perfected I'm still busy building the website and uh, things like that and of course I have to do so many readings I've been I've done the 12 weeklies for this week coming week and now I'm doing the romance and of course the dailies so if you're new then please subscribe just down there hit that subscription box and uh, hit the bell then you'll be notified and of course I, every night I go live when possible but if something comes in between then I do not if sometimes I leave Usually I also leave a message behind in community, can't go live today, sorry, uh, sleep well and God bless and all that. Um, so you can uh, get also updates in the community, so if you subscribe and hit that bell then you'll get the message. Okie dokie. So that is the information and welcome to new viewers and if you would like to become a cyber angel like my uh, truthful and faithful followers thank you very much i'm grateful for your support without you this channel wouldn't be uh, what it is we don't uh, new viewers we don't only give away i don't only give away free cards but there is also super chat and super stickers available that is when you give a donation and you want to jump the queue or if you've got a specific question and you need an answer quickly then i give you an answer with three cards and an oracle card be it tarot or lenamon okay let's get started with your reading leo and you've got wedding this situation involves a marriage this could be yours or you could be invited to a wedding and again, wow, I think it's more concerned with you because we've got the ring. We've got the ring lying underneath, an un everlasting love. There will be a union. Wow, you don't have to um, get married to have a union. We all know that. There's also common law marriage. There is also a registry marriage. There is also a new thing, and that is a, con a mutual contract. I don't know what it is called in English, but it is like an, a contract that you agree with each other that you are bonded for life. In the second week, um, you have stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so keep manifesting visualizing if you don't know how to visualize then <clears throat> make a visionary board and uh, get a little pictures from old magazines or from the internet stick them on the visualization board and put this board on the fridge or somewhere that uh, uh, on your desk or uh, somewhere that you pass several times a day so when you pass it you say I hope I get this or that that I hope that will materialize into my life I hope a, a, a marriage will materialize or in my life or a partnership a loving uh, binding partnership just like that Okay, and you've got beautiful uh, reading, Leo, uh, absolutely, you've got luck on your side, you might be getting a gift, and this gift could be a little gift, it will bring you luck, something is coming in that brings you luck. Okay, in the third week you have express your love, express your love, look at that. Go ahead and make this romantic gesture. People can't read minds. They must be told or shown. Otherwise there is doubt. 
let the other half know that you love them. And big time. Okay, Leo. It is this reading is for Leo and we've got the sun. So there might be an other Leo that is interested in you. Also, the sun means you might be going on holiday. Or moving home. You could be moving in with each other. Perhaps that is the gesture that you have to ask. May I move in? Would you like me to move in with you? Okay, exciting. But you're in the spotlight and you've got recognition. Wow, admiration in the romance sense. And there might be something that you uh, need more in, information on because something is being illuminated. Is there an issue? Is there a question? Is there a difficulty? Um, is the house big enough? Have we got enough room because there is a child involved or I'm, uh, I'm expecting something like that. So, you know what, it, whether it resonates or not. If it doesn't rate, resonate with you, this reading, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And this relationship is worth waiting for. Look at that. Divine timing is at work in your love life. The angels know what you want because you've made it clear with this visionary board that you are making or you're doing the manifestations and the visualizations in the right way. Now we've got the birds and it is depicted in this deck because it's pink and that's why I chose it. It's the titanium deck and this is the owl. So it is wisdom, knowledge. So... Use your knowledge. It's worth waiting for. Um, there could be gossip around you. you. There could be meetings around you. There could be gatherings. There could be gatherings to discuss the wedding. Let me see. We've got the ring here. There could be meetings. Uh, where are we going to sit uh, that person and that person? That person can't carry on with that person. You always have these decisions to make when you're getting married. Okay. So it looks good for you. Everything is positive. You are in spotlight, but you need more information. This could be with seating the people at the reception. This could be about um, meeting up with the uh, chef that's baking your cake. Uh, what kind of icing, what kind of decoration, what shape. All these things come into call uh, when you're getting married. And most of all, you've got a definite yes. Am I going to get married? Yes. Is he going to propose? Yes. Okay. And then we've got the healing card from Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael is saying self-energy. So uh, preserve some energy for the big day. Um, because if you are not, if you are hooked up, then there could be another celebration, an anniversary, a wedding anniversary. Okay, so say savor your energy and sever energy cords with vampire energy, en energy vampires. Archangel Michael delivers a powerful healing to severe, sever energetic cords of attachments and rebalance your energy fields. The sword and the shield are symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a powerful tool for stress relief. As energetic beings in a human body, our energy levels can be easily depleted, sending the physical body into a stressful state. Archangel Michael is an expert at detecting energetic cords of attachment that deplete your vital energy levels. These cords can form in your general interactions with family, friends and colleagues, and especially during contact with people who are stressed, unwell or who have low level energies. And low level energies could be negative people. Okay, meetings. So be careful. Call Archangel in to stand beside you and ask him to sever and seal any attachments that have formed in your energy field. 
Archangel Michael will call in extra angels to also bring healing for the other person or persons concerned who have formed the cords to rebalance and maintain their own personal energies. It is vital to maintain you your own God-given energy for your health and well-being as caring, generous, compassionate soul. It is easy to let your energetic guard down. Any time that you feel tired and listless, call upon Archangel Michael for a checkup scan. Also, what uh, could uh, alternative meanings? Meet for daily protection, re secure archetype, high stress job, psychic attack, energy draining, codependence need for grounding. So ask Archangel Michael to heal you. And say that to Archangel Michael, Michael, please will you clear all the field, fields that need clearing so that the full divine energy and light can come through me and that you have healed me. So that is a healing card as it is a green card. A green card means also uh, family is, and, uh, and uh, family is important. You need space. But I also have a feeling that money is coming in. And you've got the brown angel feather. A practical approach is uh, required. The angels advise you to focus on the practicalities at this moment, one step at a time. Okay, especially when you have to arrange a marriage or a celebration. The brown angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of grounding. The color brown is a mixture of three priority colors, red, yellow and blue. The angels suggest that it is important to ground yourself each day. Visualize a grounding structure coming from your feet and going right down through the earth. Finally, connecting to the grounding structure into the very center of the earth. This structure you visualize could be a tree rooted system that anchors you or change you. Anything that you can connect with personally. This sim simple exercise will keep you feeling stable and secure at all times. During the day, the angels know that when you are grounded, your concentration and decision-making process will improve. Consequently, your calm and reliable approach will put others at ease in stress situations. The affirmation that you can use is, I am peace, centered and grounded, I am stable and secure. Other symbolic symbols of the brown angel feather is animal magic, home, friendship, freedom, business endeavor, time for solitude, masculinity, simplicity, success, money. I said money, okay. Comfort, happy, long lasting relationships. Period of creativity, endurance. You have to endure if you're organizing a meeting or a wedding or a celebration. Project coming to fruition, solid foundations. And the crystals that you can wear is tiger's eyes, petrified wood and bronzite. And the angels that are associated with this card is Archangel Sandalfon, the guardian of the earth, and Archangel Uriel. Archangel of the Earth, Angel Ariel, um, Angel of Nature, Angel of Barakil is Grounding Angel. So there you go, Leo. Wow, amazing. So there is definitely grounding necessary to protect yourself and your energies and to sever the ties with energy vampires. The last angel is the guardian angel. 
You have a guardian angel. You are enwrapped in his wings. And it is number 20. So you are being brought back into balance. Wow. So open your heart and your solar plexus to let the angels come in and bring you joy because there's big joy here this month. Something is happening really massive. So long you stay away from the empire or vampire, energy vampires. Yeah, sorry, I'm in a dream. The empire from the vampire. Sorry, I just chatted myself as well. I hope you've loved this reading and give me the thumbs up. And um, thank you very much for sharing with family and friends. And remember, together we stand strong, so give us the thumbs up. And I hope to meet you if you're new in the life. And my cyber angels, I'll see you in the life. So take care and have a wonderful romantically mm, month. Ah, the month of mmm. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. Take care. Ciao, ciao.